The following program contains extreme violence, language, and frightening situations. Viewer discretion is advised. Professor McCord, you say that his spelled tomb gives strong evidence Elvis faked his death, right? It sure looks that way to me. But pseudo-experts and their circuits use reasoning that we would be unwilling to apply to analogous, relevantly similar instances unrelated to the conspiracy. Just what are you driving at? Well, <laughs> Professor McCord, would you also say that Cedar Rapids artist Grant Wall faked his death? Also, McCord, what about Hume's principle? Is it not more likely that there is something we don't know about Elvis than that Elvis faked his death? One time I visited Buddy Holly's grave and was surprised to see he actually spelled his name with an E. See, look at the selfie on my cellular phone. So you've had experience of being confused about how a celebrity's name is spelled, but have you ever had experience of a confirmed celebrity death hoax? Golly, you are correct, Donna. Hume's principle means we should reject the celebrity death hoax and believe there is something we do not know about Elvis's name. Alright, I tried to do this the easy way. Restart. <laughs> Alright, I tried to do this the easy way. Hands up, you Kirkwood Community Schools students. Just had to get nosy, didn't you die? Didn't you? Redo it again. <laughs> Alright, I tried oh, to do this. Oh shit! <laughs> Alright, I tried to do this the easy way. Hands up, you Kirkwood students. Just had to get nosy, didn't you? Just as we thought, you are a pseudo expert. Well, that may be Donna, but at least I am seeing, too, if that Kirkwood does not cancel my Elvisology class. You will never get away with this, you beady-eyed hack. Oh, that is where you are wrong, Molly. Dead wrong. On the count of three, I am going to gank your happy ass. One, two... Trees! I'm Philoso Sophie, Kirkwood Conspiracy Co Squad. And I'm her partner, Connie. Drop your weapon, you POS. You'll have to shoot them. <laughs> You have to shoot them to kill me, Pigs. Bumping off a couple of Kirkwood marijuana hats? As they say at Chick fil A, it will be my pleasure, Professor. Well, I thought. I mean. What's the matter, Professor McCord? Not ready to meet Elvis in hell? But Donna and Molly, what about the picture I showed in the hot air balloon? You know that one of Elvis watching his fans by the pool? Did that not convince you? No, Chris. The belief that the photo was good evidence also violates Hume's principle, for it is more likely that the trick photography was used than that Elvis faked his death. Plus, why would Elvis go to the trouble of faking his death, but then sit right out in the open like that? Why? You miserable little... <laughs> Stop touching me! Do not have daddy! You've <laughs> underestimated your opponent, Phyllis. She fell funny. <laughs> you killed Phyllis, you mother trucker! But Donna and Molly, what about that picture I showed you in the hot air balloon? You know that one Elvis watching his fans by the pool? Not over, you two. Not by a long shot. The chance of you getting out of jail anytime soon is the same as your stomach, McCord. Bat. Also, I just thought of another one. You ignore the ubiquitous, plentiful, and strong evidence that Elvis is dead. After all, there is a videotape of his funeral. <clears throat> Also, media outlets, including newspapers like the Memphis Commercial Appeal, reported his death and did not later do retractions. But do you not get it? They were all in on the conspiracy to keep the truth from us. The media, Elvis' friends, and family, the funeral guy, they all lied for Elvis. But that is the fallacy of widening the claims of conspiracy as the way to ignore the strong evidence that Elvis really did die. Take him away, boys! Geesh, I cannot get to break here. thing I do not understand, why was Chris so nervous about saying Grant Wood faked his death? You see, Grant Wood made the door of his Cedar Rapids studio out of a coffin lid. 
Furthermore, the door also says something like, Grant Wood will be back, right back. He made it out of a coffin lid because he lived with a funeral director who had lots of extra coffin lids. And the part about being right back was just him joking about his daily schedule. Then the coffin lid door with the weird message would, by analogy, be equally good evidence that Grant would fake his death too. I get it now! But of course, pseudo experts are not willing to apply their bad logic to cases outside of their pet conspiracy theories. But what happened to the ghost of Elvis? I guess we'll never know. Molly? That sounds good. <laughs> that really sucks. <laughs> yes, that really sucks. Wait a minute. Call Cuffus at Kirkwood Security and tell him to search the, all the vacuums owned by McCord. Why? I got a funny feeling he used one of them to suck the king's ghost, Ghostbusters style. Vous n'y croyez pas, c'est les gars. Je pense que j'ai vu Elvis. On it. I have even tried my karate moves, but they did not crack the polyester plastic that was encasing me. Wait a minute. I'm back, baby. What should we do now that our adventure is over, Molly? Since we are here, why not enjoy all that Memphis has to offer its visitors? That sounds good. Gotcha! I'm back! I tried to get the guy.